one of the best packs is in the item shop for right now and it's called the double agent pack this is definitely one of my favorite packs and once i saw it i could not wait until it finally came out it took like almost a year from when i started playing and as soon as it dropped i grabbed it and these are definitely some of my favorite combos so what comes in the bundle is the double agent hush you get two different edit styles the white and the black and both of these look very very good it comes with the double agent stripe back bling and of course two different edit styles you get the double agent wild card skin two different edit styles as well both look very good and then you also get the double agent hard case now this one's really cool because it's the chaos double agent and you have essentially four different edit styles because you have the white with gold and then you have the mask and mask off which I like this one a lot it's very cool very creepy so you can go ahead and mix between the two and then this one's super clean this is the one that I really wanted and I definitely run this one quite a bit it's one of my favorite skins and then you also get the double agent Uzi unit back bling along with this and the one thing that does think about it is that there's two different bundles so you have the skin bundle right here and then you also have the pickaxe bundle there and all of these just have the one edit style so you have the shadow blades the gold crow which is very clean I've definitely used this one a lot and the mayhem scythe and I wanted you to be able to see these in game before they rotate out of the shop so before we jump into it I'm gonna ask that you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications that way you know every single time that we upload and go ahead and hit that like button to show your love and support it goes such a long way and it helps out so much with the channel so thank you so much but let's go ahead and check this out in game let's go so here we have the skin free falling we have the white edit style right now looks very clean so you can already tell that there's great physics on there going left right and diving forward and i'm already going to give you my recommendation go ahead and grab it if you haven't yet because you can do so much with it and between the black and white edit styles and having three great skins is such a great option so you can tell that the color scheme is white light gray and gold and it looks so good you've got the two big pouches there on the side one on the back overall she's a very clean minimal skin gold eyes gold accents in the hair the mask looks very cool shoes look really good as we can tell as you aim down sights it is going to be that very minimal skin so you're not going to be losing any visibility on here the back bling is so small too that it's going to look very good as well now taking a look at the back bling it looks like you have some grenades on the back it's a very small backpack just that white and gold makes everything look so clean and so fresh so you definitely can run this with a lot of multiple skins but let's go ahead and see some of the mobility here running jumping sliding you can go ahead and do the hurdle there all these mechanics are so stinking cool so the gloves look nice the necklace looks clean this is definitely a very very nice skin to be able to run so i'm going to go ahead and take off the back bling that way we can see what it looks like with no back bling and here is a good look at the skin with no back bling on here this is definitely a skin that you can run with no back bling and it's just going to look so stinking good the back bling adds a nice little pop but with all the different colors between the gray, the white, the little accents of gold, that no back bling option looks very good. Let's check out the next edit style. So now this edit style has the black and gold accents. It looks incredible, guys. The gold eyes, the gold accents in the hair, pretty much everything has stayed the same. You just switch the white to the black. The gloves look even better here. The back bling looks good. Now we're gonna take a good look at the pickaxes now since they were intended for this edit style. So it's a dual wielded pickaxes. You've got the black and gold on there. No custom contrail, no custom splash effect on there. Everything is just default. Let's check out the equipment and equip. It's got a good sound effect. Sound very sharp, very clean. And they are very minimal pickaxes, nothing too crazy. So if you just want to run a black and gold combo, they're going to run great. And again, the physics look incredible on this skin. From the back bling, you can even see the flaps moving up and down, all the straps on her. You can even see the movement on the pouches there on the side. So these look really, really good. So I'm going to go take off the back bling so we have a good look at what it looks like with no back bling. Because usually a lot of skins with no back bling look very bare. And sometimes you need something there to give it a little bit more of a pop. But she looks great with no back bling on here. So very, very nice. Let's check out the next skin. So now we have the white and gold color combination on there. I don't think I've ever realized that this skin has a gold ring. But you can tell that the vest, the shirt, the tie, even the gold accent there on his face has a very like silk appearance. It's got that nice glow on there. The briefcase is going to be white and gold as well. And you can tell that it's got great physics with the handcuff on there. Aiming down sights, it is going to be a very slim skin. So you're not going to have a loss of visibility on here. All these 
these new mechanics are going to be so clean. So we can go ahead and do that. We can mantle up here. Everything looks super good. And we can go ahead and slide to finish it off. So the back bling is obviously going to be that briefcase with the handcuffs on there. You can do a lot with this it since it's so plain. You can use it with a lot of different combos, but it looks very good. It's not big, bulky, so it's not getting in the way. And overall, this skin looks very good. I think this is going to be the bottom of the three for me, but let's just go ahead and take off the back bling and get a look at what it looks like with no back bling. And here's the skin with no back bling. I think this one does need a back bling because it's so bare. There's not much else going on there. And having a back bling really does break it up a little bit. Very, very nice. I'm going to go ahead and switch the edit style. The black mask looks very, very intimidating. I like the gold accents on there. And again, I love that silk style for the gold. It makes everything pop a lot more. And now looking at the back bling, the back bling looks to be a lot darker. I, I really like the shade of black for that back bling. And again, the physics look very good with the handcuff there. The black and gold looks very clean. I think I like this edit style more than the white and gold. But let's go ahead and check the aiming down sights. Again, it's going to be the same thing. Very good visibility on there. Now let's take a look at the pickaxe since it was designed for this black and gold style. You've got the gold crowbar with the black wrapping down the middle. Looks very clean, very minimal, very sweaty pickaxe. We've got the default contrail, default splash effect on there. But you can't deny how good this pickaxe looks. A very good skin overall. What we're going to do now is take off the back plane so we could just get a look at it without the back plane as well. So here we have the skin with no back plane. Again, like I said before, I really do think you need that back plane on there. But this black style does look very clean. But that way you have an idea. Let's go ahead and check out the next skin. So you can clearly see that there's some glitching going on. That that ooze, it shouldn't be like mid-body level and it looks a little trippy. But the mask looks very clean. I like the white with the gold tie. I think that looks a little bit better than the gold shirt, gold tie, gold vest. But again, that mask has always been very cool. You've got the gold shoes on there. Very, very minimal back bling. And then you've got the tubing going towards the back. And it looks like it's a part of the back bling just when you have it sitting on there. That's a very nice touch, making them both seem like they belong long together i've always liked this one because it has that minimal a contrail minimal animation going but right now it is glitched on there i'm sure that's going to be something that they do end up patching but that back plane is very small aiming down sides going to be very very good since this is one of the slimmest male skins in the game you can tell that he has three fingers <laughs> so this emote looks a little trippy but let's go ahead and get some of the movement going very very good skin here and the pickaxe has the black accents on there so it is intended for the black edit style just something to keep in mind does have a nice contrail nice sound effects but i do believe the splash effect is default yeah it is but this pickaxe is very very nice it's like a ooze scythe and again this one looks to be glitchy right now as well but this is definitely one of my favorite skins what we're going to do now is take off the back bling and then take off the mask so i took off the helmet and i changed the edit style just so we could get a look at what it would look like since the skin is being a little bit glitchy uh the ooze should not look that weird but it is again one of the most minimal slim skins in the game. That ooze can get in the way a little bit, but it's never this crazy and in the way. This edit style has definitely been my favorite one. And again, that suit looks very, very clean with the mask or without the mask. I do think the black edit style is a lot better, but let's go ahead and go back to the locker so I can give you my final thoughts on the entire set. Let's go. So we have the double agent pack. We're gonna start off with the double agent hush. I think this was the one that I was least excited about when I first saw the pack, but after actually running them in game, I think this is actually my favorite one there's so much more contrast in the skin between the white the gray the pouches the gold the accessories the mask the necklace that it looks so much more unique and so much better and then you have this white style and then the black style so i'm going to give this skin a 9 out of 10. the back bling very minimal very clean white and gold i love the grenades on there i love how small and compact it is and you can obviously see you can run this with so many different combos so i'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10 as well we have the double agent wild card with the two edit styles after running all three skins in game i feel like it would have looked better if you would have broken up because you have the gold shirt gold tie gold vest since all gold just kind of makes everything look too blended in in my opinion but i do think that i like the black edit style on this one a little bit more and on the female skin i like the white one a lot more but this one i'm gonna end up giving a 7 out of 10 
the double agent hard case you have the two edit styles i'm actually going to give this one a 9 out of 10 because you can run so many different combos with it and then the physics between the handcuffs and the case just looking so good yeah the chaos double agent i think it's right below the double agent hush the mask on mask off looks so good the two different options there and all the ooze that are happening i always thought this one looks so good definitely like the black edit style a lot more since it has so many options i'm gonna have to give this one a 9 out of 10 and then the double agent ooze unit this is a very nice one i'm gonna give this one an 8 out of 10 and then you have the pickaxe set i wish it would have all come together and i wish that they would have had the two different edit styles but they are really good pickaxes and you get three for 1200 v bucks so that's a great deal the shadow plates i'm gonna give a six out of ten nothing too crazy the gold crow very nice very elegant very clean uh, i'm gonna give this one a nine out of ten the mayhem scythe it's a bit bigger, a bit bulkier, but it looks really good. So I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10. I definitely wanna hear from you in the comments below. Which one is your favorite one out of the entire set? Do you have it? Are you gonna be getting it? Let me know down in the comments below, but be sure to hit that like button before you get out of this video. And again, that's it for me guys. I'll see you in the next one.